Christmas comes early at TIE Fight, Aaron. For the uninitiated, this is a tremendous fight. There in the white corner, you can see Suris Manfredi, 32 years old from France, 164 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 51 kilograms. She has a record of 48 fights, 37 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. She is a European champion, a national champion, a Chiang Mai Stadium champion, and the current World Left Way Stadium champion. She is, and I have no hesitation saying this, by far the most talented, scary female fighter in the white corner that Thai Fight has ever had. No contest. Yeah, I would go along with that. I think it's World Left Way Championship rather than World Left Way Stadium. No, it's a Chiang Mai Stadium Championship. Oh, World okay. Left Way Ch I got all of her. <laughs> she's got too many titles, Aaron. You got to keep up. And there is her opponent, Pet Chi Jia. Look, Jiao Porong Tom. Originally from Chambri in Thailand, 18 years old, 160 centimeters tall, 51 kilograms as Adam stated, 204 fights with 187 victories, 15 losses with two draws. Yeah, I mean, don't let the records fool you. Pet Chicha is an incredible fighter, 200 fights as you said, Aaron. And if you look at Manfredi's record with only 50 fights, you might think, well, Pechicha has this huge advantage, but the 50 fights that that Manfredi has are all just brutal fights. I mean, a lot of them are in left way where she's literally headbutting girls. Yeah. Like we said, we believe this has potential to be fight of the night. Yeah, I'm super excited about this fight. This is my pick for fight of the night. Can't wait to see what happens. They have bigged up Petji Jar at Thai Fight. Look at that, they have their own entrance music for it. They could, they could work on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Second fight of the evening in the black corner from Thailand. Pet Ji Ja, Luk Ja, Parong Tom. And in the white corner from France, Cyrus Manfredi. Cyrus meaning? Mouse. But she's anything but. She's going to try and set the traps here for Pet Ji Ja. I'm going to apologize in advance for that. I was going to say something <laughs> about cheese, which is going to be even worse, Ooh. so. Here we go. Two glove fights here tonight, this being the first. The second will be the main event featuring yeah. Sanchai. And we've talked a lot about Pet Ji Ja's hands. She's a tremendous boxer. Cyrus Manfredi also really enjoys boxing. She says boxing and the clinch are her two favorite techniques. Elbow there from Pet Ji Ja. Stiff jab from Manfredi. Couple of nice. Oh, an elbow coming in again there from Pet Ji Ja. Oh, and she's cut. She's cut from that elbow out of straight away onto the forehead of Manfredi. You can see blood trickling down into the eye. That's huge for Pet Chija. And you see it's bothering. Oh, and left up there from Pet Chija. Right low kick. Wow, what a start. Tremendous start from the Thai fighter. Even throwing bombs up that good. Now Pet Chija, last time out. Oh, left knee as she was going down. Don't know if that connected push or not. We're going to time out with the doctors. Going to have to take a look at that cut, Adam. Unbelievable start for Pet Chi Ja. You know, we were talking when they tie fight first brought her back that we actually had concern. Are they going to be able to find fighters that want to fight this young girl? And I, I couldn't have in my wildest dreams imagined that they would find someone like Manfredi so quickly. But Pet Chi Ja really showing her stuff early. There's a nice boxing combination from Manfredi as well. More elbows there from Pet Chi Ja. That right elbow is causing problems for Manfredi. Another right hand there from Pet Chi Ja. Push kick. That time blocked, but Pet, Pet Chi Ja was looking for that. Nice to use the body Right as well. elbow, but Manfredi was able to block it that time. Right kick to the body. Oh, oh what a combination. Mike going Tyson. low, going high. Yeah, Mike, Mike Tyson, Tyson would be proud. Been proud. For sure. Pet Chi Ja throws that right elbow again. Well, you know, Aaron, we saw her in her last fight. She didn't really have any success with that elbow. And she had to abandon it about halfway through the fight and just switch to those body punches. But in this fight, she's got both of them working for her. Two more elbows from Petty Jar and she backs up Manfredi. Manfredi just been not been able to get into any sort of rhythm. And that is a testament to this young Thai fighter. That was in the clinch. Oh, left elbow this time. Oh, right elbow from Manfredi. She's not going to give up this girl, we know that. She is tough. 
Oh, another right elbow from Pechi Jar, and that has brought Manfredi. She told us before the fight, man, Freddy did, Aaron, that she adapted her style for this fight against Petty Job, but whatever she's done has worked so far in round one. Yeah, like you were saying, Adam, after the last performance from Petty Job, I don't think lackluster is the right word, but it, wasn't, spe it wasn't spectacular. But tonight, whoo, she's yeah. back to her normal self. Right, man, and she really is Even just... exceeding expectations. Yeah, absolutely. She is dominating here at Tie Fight. Tough night at the office so far for Manfredi. Beautiful elbows raining in there from Pechi Jar, which opened a cut on top of the left side of the forehead of Manfredi. Pechi Jar in control, winning that first round with ease. Let's see what Manfredi can do in this second round. Pechi Jar moving forward in the second round. Oh, throwing that right over on a beautiful left hook as well. Doing a good job of blocking is Pechi Jar. Yeah, so far, there this hasn't is been a single attempt that she's tried that hasn't come off. In the clinch, this is exactly where you said she wanted to be, right, Adam? Manfredi well, wants to be in there. I also said she wanted the box. <laughs> that hasn't gone so well. In fact, really, that close clinching uh, distance is where she got cut with the elbow, Aaron, so... Another left hook there from Pechi Jar, and then a right elbow. Never seems to be just one move attack from Pechi Jar. She's always thrown in combinations. And at the moment, it's that left hand, right elbow that's doing a lot of the damage here. There it is again Another as well. Another nice elbow. Pechi Jar searching high for that right kick, and then another beautiful left shot to the body, and then a push kick to the face. Bringing out all the move sets here. That tight fight. Manfredi looks tired at him. She looks dead on a big old good right elbow just as I say that. A real wall in Korak. Low kick from Pechi Jar. Oh my goodness, what a combination from Pechi Jar again. Three strike combination, punch, elbow, punch, follows it up with a knee to the body. It's changing levels effortlessly. Everything she's throwing is landing. And Matt Freddy has just got to be flustered and frustrated. Oh, that is a big gash on the top of her forehead. Yeah, I think the referee is doing a good look. job. I think it's opened up even more so, to be honest. Yeah, and Petchy just covered in blood as well. None of it hers. Oh, and she's gonna call it. And that's gonna be so disappointing, but also unsurprising for Manfredi, who was really just unable to get anything off in this fight. And what a performance from 18-year-old Pet Teacher. Sanchez, is that too much of a compliment to pay? No, I don't think so. I really don't. We said, didn't we, when we saw that Pet Teacher was back on the tie fight card. So she, excited. She has potential superstar in the making. Another so. element to tie fight. And I think it's really great that they're promoting female fighters and not just Pet Teacher, also props to Manfredi as well for stepping up. Really amazing fight. Let's take a look at the highlights from that second round. Petchi Jar pushing her back, combining left hooks, right elbows, push kicks, low kicks. For that, not connecting flush, but you can see what she's trying. There's one that landed on the top of the head. I'm ready fighting fight. A real beautiful display of extreme elite Muay Thai for both these female fighters. I'm Brady, not going down though, but I think the referee, like you said, made the correct decision. Let's go to our... Look out, one up. The winner is... Petita Lujavar of the Thailand! Thailand! Lujavar up top here at Taipei!